Zuka. She's just like listening to all the noises. <laughs> She's scared, man. Zuka is okay. <laughs> She's on a leash. It's a long one though. Cause the moment I let her off, she dipped right through there. And it's thick in there. Luckily she got distracted by a smell, so I caught up to her, but yeah, I guess she's just not the type of dog that's gonna stick around. But anyway, we're in Ortega Falls for a specific reason. Astrophotography. And right here, at 11 o'clock, 11.30, the Milky Way should be rising. And hopefully, the full moon will be setting. If I did my calculations correctly. Gotta get some fucking firewood, man. California woods are, like, very well taken care of. Like, what the hell? There we go. Found a burn pile. That one? I don't have a truck, though. That one's all the way, that, that's a party log right there. Hey, 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 that's a big one. I'm not going for my kid. Hey, you're dusting everywhere. Hey. Oh. This is some good. I'm, I know I should have made my own pesto, blah, blah, blah. Most people use mozzarella, which provolone is just like a smokier mozzarella anyway. So, the drizzle this shit, man. Oh, yeah. Oh, it's tender. Oh, yeah. Put a couple pads of butter in there. Fuck it, we're camping, bitch. Damn it, I burnt it. Fuck. Welcome, everybody. Bazooka really hates when the fire smoke <laughs> comes. <laughs> She's such a baby right here. She really hates when the fire smoke comes at our face. Well, anybody, welcome to the Catacomb Cult. My name is Javin Romero, your intrepid host. <sighs> it's cold tonight. Probably going to have to get some more firewood. I probably should have did that before. But I got the lav mic on, so it's okay. It's a... It's a cold one. We're out here camping. 
Zuka is totally pooped and she's scared of everything. This is her first time camping, so you know what I'm saying? I got potatoes in there, baked potatoes. So she's totally scared of everything, like a real baby. But, you know, I don't know why. Oh, yeah, see, this, the, the smoke is swirling around and blowing in her face. It does kind of suck. But we might have to pause and move it back. You know, it's all good. But anyway, we're out here on a very special mission to shoot the Milky Way. It's a full moon right now, but it's supposed to set, from what I'm told, if my calcu- yeah, just hide your face under there. If my calculations are correct, I put my tent in the wrong wind zone. The wind is coming like straight at us in the tent. It's all fucked up, but sometimes it goes that way. But we're in Ortega, Ortega Flats or Ortega Falls or something. Just up in the up in the woods. It's a nice area. We're kind of we're hella secluded and shit. It's like a little campground. Not no not too many people here. There is some old man with like an elderly woman. I I think that they're coming up here for the rendezvous. <laughs> I didn't anticipate it being this chilly up here in these mountains. Like she has to be on the leash too. I got like this big forty foot leash. And uh, she's knocking everything over with the leash, but I took her off the leash and she dipped right into these bushes. See these bushes? I ain't, I can't run in there. And she dipped and I was like following her and uh, luckily she got like distracted by a smell because that's all she cares about. And I grabbed her. So <laughs> yeah, she's, she's definitely a city dog, man. It's not like my old skeezy wheezy, but you can't blame her. She was born in the city. She's born in L.A. Born and raised in East L.A. No, she's from Palmdale. Damn, you see my breath? It's cold, man. I only brought this sweatshirt. <laughs> I got like a 20 below sleeping bag, though, so. Oh, I got to put my beer on the ground so a spider can crawl in it. Because if I put it right here, Bazooka drinks it. She's a little drunky. All right, sorry about that. I might do a succulent variations, but I'll tell you what, I'm already fucking pooped from... It's hard setting up all this shit by yourself. I wish I had a, like, a, a companion, you know what I mean? But it's about to get really dark. I don't even know if you can see me. Let me check. I don't know if she's cold. This is a tiny blanket. <laughs> Bazooka, go in the bed. You can go. She can go in the tent. I don't know why she's not. So sorry if I'm breathing heavy. The el al al <laughs> the elevation's getting to me a little bit. But yeah, I might. Like I was saying, I might do a succulent variation, but I don't think I really will. Succulent variations, you want to get the noise, you want to get sexy with it, you know what I mean? It's dark too, it's hard to film succulent variations in the dark. You know what I mean? I don't, I got a little light with me, but I don't, I'm not gonna... Sooks, what's going on? You want to go in the bed? What's wrong? What's wrong, little girl? <laughs> she looks so, like, she's such a city dog. She's so spoiled. She's used to doing, like, whatever she wants. So, like, out of her comfort zone, she's like, what the fuck are we doing? She chased the lizard a couple hours ago. She's been all, she's probably eaten three different types of poison oak. But it's fun, you know? I haven't been camping in a while. It would be really fun if I had a homie. Like my cousin, I miss camping. Me and my cousin used to go camping all the time. Or, you know, a chick. Jeez. A chick would be really fun. I don't know if I get sexy on camping trips. I don't know if I've ever camped. Me and my ex, we were together six years and we never camped. I was always like, yo, we should go camping. She 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 lived she was born in LA, so she never she never went camping. But no, yeah, we never I was always like, yo, we should go fucking to Death Valley and camp and shit. And she was like she was like, Yeah, let's do it, but we just you know, work and shit. 
never got to it. I mean, I've had sex in the woods, <laughs> but I don't know if I've ever camped like with just me and my lady. Huh. Strange. Maybe I have when I was real young. I think I just saw a bat fly over my camera. <sighs> Trying to give me Corona again, man. I actually was gonna go to Joshua Tree. <laughs> like, I was like, yo, yeah, maybe I'll just go to Joshua Tree. Who cares? It's a three hour drive or whatever, two and a half. I was like, fuck it, let's just do that. And um, I'm glad I didn't, because I didn't realize today was the fucking kickoff of Coachella. So, <laughs> yeah. But anyway, I think we're far enough. It's It's pretty tranquil out here, you know? So we'll see, we'll see what we can do with this astrophotography. I did pick the, the stupidest night to come out. I know the moon, it says the moon is gonna set, but for some reason, I don't think so. But it's still, it's like, it's I mean, sun just set, but it's still just right there. Like, I don't see it. I don't know, I'm pooped, I'm ready to go to bed. <laughs> now we'll see, hopefully around midnight, It'll be down, and the Milky Way will be right here. So we'll see. Let's just do a couple sticks. Just to get a little little flamage, man. It's so light. I need, like, a big piece of oak, you know what I mean? Fucking something to burn for hours and hot. See, even just getting that wood, I'm, like, I'm winded. <laughs> it could be because I got a few things on me <laughs> speaking of a thing thing i had to look up california law because i couldn't there we go that that's probably beautiful right let me check yeah that's that's how i should be doing the podcast this is my key light right here but yeah i had to look up cali law because you know i got my pistola in there and uh i had to look up cali law because i don't even know you know Arizona, I could put that shit in my fucking waistband and be, that's legal, you know? But out here, I looked at, or my brother-in-law sent me a little cart thing, and he said, he sent me a little screenshot, and uh, it was, I had to unload it, put it in the trunk, and then drive. So, like, transportation of any loaded firearm or whatever is a, is a crime here in California. Khalifa, but I got that thing. You know, what if a mountain lion comes and tries to, what a little, little mountain, bazooka's a little snack, look at her. She's rolled up like a little burrito, a little empanada. <clears throat> Somebody want to take her out. It's mainly going to be a vlog, hopefully. I mean, this is my first time doing deeps. I mean, I've tried to take pictures of the Milky Way. That's kind of different. I'm trying to take a picture of the nebula, the Orion's nebula which that's deep space shit. So I have this thing, it's this calculator where you move your camera, cause you know, if I just put it on Orion for two minutes, a two minute exposure, it'll just be star trails, you know what I mean? You've seen those, I'm sure you've seen those. I'll put a picture up right here of star trails. But you don't want star trails, you wanna like gather as much light as you can, so you want your camera to move with the rotation of the stars, you know, or the rotation of the earth, rather. And, uh, yeah, so we're going to try and do that. It's my first time doing it. I couldn't really do it in Long Beach. I tried it, and it's just the the, the noise. For people, who don't, for people who aren't, like, don't know what noise, are, noise is in photos, it's like, you know, pixelation, noise. It's trying to gather all the information, and the darker it is, you're probably seeing it right now because it's fucking dark right now. But um, the pixelation, it just gets all noisy and fuzzy looking because you need light. You need light, you know what I mean? So you want, to get, you, want to, you want your camera to move locked onto that star like a fucking tracker on a, you know, a plane or something on a, a fighter jet. You want it to like your camera to move with that star. And I have a little calculator thing to tell me how to do that. <laughs> and um, you want to move with it and gather as much light as you can. So I might take like 60 photos and stack them all together. You know what I mean? 
just getting as much light as I can. So, but I don't know. I, I mean, I've watched, oh shit, my bad. I've watched mad um, YouTube tutorials about it, but I've never done it, so we'll see. I know it theoretically how to do it, but we'll see. You know, it's all trial and error. This is one of many excursions out into the wilderness. I dig this. I haven't done this in a long time, and I, and I like it. I haven't, just staring at a fire is, like, primitive and beautiful, you know what I mean? It takes you back. To our hunter and gatherer ways. Oh, is there a centipede in here? It's beautiful. It's nice. It would be nice with the little hainita though, but no. <laughs> Damn. So Orion's right there. I see it right now. The moon's right here. There's no way it's gonna move in time. And then the the core, because this is Milky Way season. Milky Way season is from like March to September. So that means Milky Way is gonna be like right here. You know what sucks though? I can't use my app. I have no service out here on my phone. They say the smoke follows beauty. I think that's an ancient native, um, a native saying, ancient native saying. Well, it's about 7 a.m. Still got one last piece of wood, but I went to bed kind of early. We trashed this place, huh? Bazooka basking in the the morning sun well good morning everyone welcome to the catacomb cult morning edition we literally just woke up zuka's on the picnic table knocking over water bottles trying to lick the barbecue bazooka hey she doesn't really like camping i don't think she's very scared of the sounds. She's scared of the fires. I explained all that last night. But we had fun. It was cold as fuck last night, though. I wasn't expecting to get, to get that cold. Let me, let me check for brain. I'm currently in my boxers. Um, Yeah, it got real cold last night. We were sitting in there. Or I was. She was fine because I, I got like a 20 below bag. So, guys, hold on. But man, I was, you know, I was sleeping in my boxers, no shirt or anything. And when the, when I'd let a little air pocket in, it would just whoosh, ice down my back. You know what I mean? But I had it just laid out like a blanket, not like a sleeping bag. I think if I would have zipped it up, because I had a, another shittier sleeping bag underneath it and all that. But anyway, that's what you do when you have couples. But... If I if I would have zipped it up normally, it would have been nice and toasty. But it was fun. I watched Ghostbusters last night on my on my MacBook. <laughs> I went to bed. I, we got all our wood. I didn't go through all my... That's what I was worrying about the whole day. Like, shit, am I going to have enough wood? Because me and my pops used to just burn big-ass fucking logs. But, yeah, I got one more piece left. A pretty decent-sized piece, too. It would have lasted a... Probably a good hour. So, yeah. That was a lot of hard work, though, getting all that wood. But, um, I just wanted to say I love you, everybody. It's already, like, it was so cold last night, but the sun just barely peeked over the horizon, and it's already pretty warm. Like, I already feel like I could take this hoodie off. I'm in my boxers. Sorry about that again. I didn't want to get dressed. Everything smells like smoke. Zuka is going to knock over the camera. Zuka. Hey, no, she's eating a stick. Come here, come here. Good girl. And again, she has to be on a leash. Let me get her up here. Oh, God. Okay, there we go. Her face is filthy. If you know Bazooka, she has like... um. No tear ducts on the bottom of her eyes. Oh, there you go. So that was for nothing. She has no tear ducts on the bottom of her eyes, which those drain to note their dog's noses. You know, that's why dogs' noses are wet. And she doesn't have those. They're, like, sealed up, the, the vet said. So she tears out her eyes excessively. That's why she always has those black shit. She's all fucked up. She's a crack baby. But, um... Yeah, so that mixed with all this dirt, she's just, like, filthy. 
running around like a little filthy animal, picking up every stick she can. But <laughs> I don't know if you guys see. Stop it, Zuka. Because she swallows it. She's a dumb dog, too. She's dumb. Everybody thinks she's smart, but she's dumb. Hey, get away from the camera. Get away. Get away. She's going to knock over my camera. She's she's too active this morning. She got a real good night's sleep. I got a pretty good night's sleep. I ain't going to front. We, oh, yeah, and, and the, the whole reason we came out here was for astrophotography, and I picked the worst night of the year, full moon, bright as fuck. The, the moon casted more shadows than the fire did, you know what I mean? Like, it was, the moon was brighter than, like, if the fire wasn't going, I probably could have see, seen around here better, <laughs> you know what I mean? It was super bright. It was in my tent when we went to sleep. When I shut off my little lantern, fucking, it was like a glow ball. It was like a glow dome. So, yeah, worst night of the year. Definitely going to come up here and do it again. I love the gear I got with that that collapsible uh, barbecue thing I have that fits in a backpack, man. That thing is so sick. That's the coolest thing I ever bought. I burnt the fucking sandwich. But it was good. It's still good. I scraped off the char, gobbled it up. It's fucking bomb. I'm gonna make those at home. <laughs> but um, the potato was succulent, perfectly tender. And yeah, I'm roasting in this sun. I gotta get going, man. So, adios. Love you, smooches. Won't you love these lonesome ways? I'll take the old high line. Well, I walk, I drift, and I wander. I am the hard tramp kind. I'm a lone wolf. I'm a lone wolf, babe. I'm a lone wolf. I go alone. I'm a lone wolf. I'm a lone wolf. I'm a lone wolf. I'm a boy.